Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to take a look at Springtrap's design to hopefully better understand why it looks so weird all the time and how Scrabtrap looks different from Springtrap and, you know, some of the things that might seem like big mistakes Thanks from Scott. But before I start this video, I'd like to say a thank you for all of you who have supported me throughout the months. Because we are so close to 300 videos and 300 subscribers. And to the one year anniversary of SFK. It's so exciting to be close to all of those three things at once. So, um, here we have Springtrap. And... Underneath Springtrap, we have William, or William's corpse, dead corpse, and all of this was drawn by me, by the way. I didn't, like, take this off of the internet. I didn't take, I didn't take it from Google or anything. Alright, so here we have William's corpse. It looks slightly different than the canon corpse, because... In order to make this make total sense, I needed to tweak a few things. So I'm just going to move it to here. And here we have William's corpse. You see that it's all, like, his flesh and stuff. He's just... I didn't draw the rest of the body, I just drew this corpse. And it's also really hard to use flip -a clip um, horizontally, because I always use it vertically, but I thought for the video it should be horizontal, because it looks better. Anyway, here you would see that the eye sockets would look normal if the spring locks didn't hold the flesh of his eyes straight up and down. Which is why his eyes are his eye sockets are so much larger than the eyes themselves. Here we see that his mouth is always open because they are being forced by these two endoskeleton parts right there. So he physically cannot close his mouth. And we have the ears which are lodged into his head. Which are literally just lodged into his head. They're like going into his brain because it does seem like they would be able to access his brain. Here we have his human rotting ghostly eyes, which if it were dark, these would glow for some reason. I guess because he's possessed or something. Um, so, they're bloodshot because he's dead. Anyway, those were the simple things of William's thing. Now, people want to know why William's corpse in FNAF 3 looked so different from William's corpse in FNAF 6. Well, that's easy. There was the fire in FNAF 3 at the end of FNAF 3. And at the end, the flesh on his skull kind of just melted away. So did a bunch of parts of his costume, and all he was left with was skull. Now, his skull in canon is also a little different. Like I said, I had to tweak it a little to make it more sense-like, and, um, here we have the skull. So now that makes a lot more sense to you, hopefully. There's still a little bit of flesh on his skull, but mostly his flesh has come off his skull. And now he has less endoskeleton parts on him, because they've kind of just melted away. Which also happened to his suit. A lot of his suit melted away, so he found another suit which he put on. So it went from that to that. And people are like, how did it go from this to this? It looks so different. Simple. Simple, really. A bunch of people say this is like his skin or something, and here was... I don't know. But that doesn't make too much sense, does it? It would make a lot more sense if it just came off. Or at least in my opinion, it would make a lot more sense if it just, like, came off.
Alright, so moving on to the next example I have here. Hold on. So this one's a lot worse. I drew it a lot worse because of complications, but hopefully it will explain to you some things. So a bunch of people are like, wait, he's got a lot of endoskeleton and a little bit of organs inside of him in FNAF 3, but then you have FNAF 6 where he's just full of bones. Well, that's easy to explain too. Like I said before, his flesh melted off here, and and bits of his endoskeleton and costume fell off too. So a bunch of it just kind of came off. Of people are like, "Hey, where is his bones? Why is it endoskeleton?" If you pay attention to the model of the endoskeleton, it's actually hollow in the arms and legs. His torso doesn't actually have bones. It's only his arms and legs where it's hiding bones inside of the hollowness of which uh, the fire just completely removed that one, leaving the bones exposed there. Which I think would be a lot clever, a um, lot more clever to include, like, bits of endoskeleton at the beginning of the arm. But they didn't do that. But, um, yeah, so... That basically explains how he looks so different from FNAF 3. He looked like that. But then the stuff came off him and he looks like that. I hope that, um clears up a bunch of things from you for you because I know it could be very confusing with a lot of stuff like this so hopefully this helps